If you ask me who are my favorite manga authors working today, more than likely the first one I would probably mention would be Arakawa. Creator of series Silver Spoon, the artist for the manga adaptation for the heroic legend of Arsalan, and of course, Fullmetal Fucking Alchemist. So when news came out that she was making a new series, you can imagine my excitement for it. And I am here to tell you, Demons of the Shadow Realm is nothing like Fullmetal Alchemist, but that does not mean you should sleep on it. So, Shadow Realm follows Yuru at what seems to be a normal day for him. We see he lives in a village with several other people, and he has a sister, Asa, who appears to be in captivity, but as the characters interact with each other, we see this as not exactly that at all, but some sort of duty or tradition. But all this comes crashing down, however, when we see helicopters of all things touch down and what appear to be armed guards from the choppers come out. Not only does this tell us that one, this is not set in some ancient period, but rather modern day, and two, that there was actually a barrier protecting the village and that the perimeter was at supposed to protect them from any threat or even the outside world itself. And from the looks of things, it has been disabled. More rugs are pulled when we see that Asa, but with an eye patch, walks out one of these choppers and actually works with the guards who are now killing some of the villagers and we later realized this entire time that the Asa Yuru has been meeting this entire time was no more than a body double and we see that the real Asa killed the double. We are also shown the magic or the power system in the world in the form of Sugai, demons or summons who are paired with the summoner and only the summoner or a select group of people can actually see these entities. Now the main plot in itself is rather one of a mix of a mystery. We follow our main leads and them trying to figure things out as well finding out not everything is as what it seemed. As the series progress many of the characters we think were going to be major antagonists of the narrative actually end up being protagonists, clearly setting up that there is more to what we expect and that, that there is clearly a much bigger issue hiding out there for our characters to face, kind of similar to another series. And as expected, the characters in this series are all superb. Arakawa, like in Fumal Alchemist, brings her A-game when it comes to things such as her character work. And the cast here is honestly pretty strong, especially since there are not that many chapters out at the moment in comparison to other series. I think an example of a character being the example of Arakawa's like strong character work, I will definitely say with her secondary or print tertiary characters would be Gab, who at the beginning seems to be your somewhat crazy, somewhat yandere type chick who has the ability of the demon Gabrielle, who's basically just disembodied floating jaw, but actually becomes also, like mentioned before, becomes a bit of a protagonist who helps out her main character, and in a messed up way, she's actually a lot of fun, and has actually delivered several laugh out loud moments for me as I've read at this point, and so far she's actually probably one of my favorite characters at the moment. Another thing to mention, Yuru, I do believe is a really good character in his own right, but it's gonna be one of those where if you're a fan of Edward Elric, it's best to try to go in as pretending that Edward doesn't exist at all. Sure, there are some similarities in terms of design. Hell, I believe some people even said he actually looks a bit like Alphonse in some sense, but he has more in common with a bit of a wide-eyed, naive shonen protag, but the quirky elements of him do not overtake. He does show that he is intelligent to some degree. It's just one of those where people are going to be making comparisons to Fullmetal Alchemist and this, so it is kind of funny actually rereading a bit of Fullmetal Alchemist before reading this and actually seeing how Edward Elric and Euro are literally nothing alike, which is honestly the charm in a way, and actually shows you the range of our cars writing and that she isn't just writing the same narrative over and over again. Like the Sukai are nothing like alchemy at all, and funny enough, kind of bear resemblance to a massive shonen trend that's happening now, but knowing Arakawa, she's gonna twist it and make it her own, but she's just that good at magic systems, so I have faith in her. So in all honesty, Demons of the Shadow Realm is actually pretty solid and a must read if anything that I mention at all piques your interest. So far, since there are not many chapters out and aspects of the plot are still warming a bit, hopefully in the future I might make a few more vids on this series as it continues and things get fleshed out a bit more. And on that note, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that usual stuff. Take care, stay chill wanderers.